you guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, um, sorry, but uh, hopefully I'll be clearing everything up um, as to why I have been um, MIA. Um, as you know from the title of this video, um, I got my tongue split. Um, this is only very recently. Um, I am still technically in the healing stages of it, but this video is just um, explaining what I've been through currently. So today is the 30th of March and I went and got this done on the 16th of March, I want to say. 16th of March? It was Monday, so um, two weeks ago today actually. So I had to travel international for this. Um, I live in Australia and I cannot get this done in Australia so I had to travel um, international for it and I don't regret a single thing personally. Um, this video I'm going to be showing graphic clips um, so if you're squeamish or you don't like um, uh, stuff to do with the mouth or the tongue I wouldn't recommend watching. So. I'm going to be honest and I'll start from the very beginning. Um, I travelled to Spain to get this done. Um, I got this done by the Cyborgs um, and I highly recommend um, if you're interested in getting your tongue split or your ear um, pointed like into the pixie ears, I highly recommend going to these guys. They have been absolutely amazing and I cannot like recommend them enough. Um, to get this done, um, yeah, like 20 out of 10, I would, we're planning to go back, um, and, you know, I really do recommend getting something done by these guys if you are wanting to get something done. Basically, just follow them on social media and you'll get all the information you could ever need, um, in regards to it, and if you have any more questions, you can just email them and they'll get right back to you, so... Day one, I got this done at about 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, I had made sure to have a full, like a big meal because that was the last time I was actually able to eat solid foods for a couple number of days. Um, so I had a big meal, I made sure to brush my teeth and they got to work. Um, I have to admit, the numbing itself was probably the worst thing I could ever do. And I, 10 out of 10, probably wouldn't do it again. Um, I started crying during numbing. And I like to think that I have a pretty high pain tolerance. Um, but that needle was the worst thing in the world. I don't want to scare anyone off, by the way. This isn't to scare people off. This is just someone's perspective that's got it done sharing it online basically so so basically what they did was they numbed all the way down the middle i actually thought they'd be numbing the whole tongue but they don't because that would just be a waste um so they numbed where they were going to cut um well first they lined everything up um made sure everything was straight and then they started numbing down the line um, they gave them a thumbs up, everything was good, they numbed it, I started crying, I started bawling, I wasn't having it, I hated it, but I got there in the end, and I had a five minute break, and regained my composure, um, and then they got to it. The thing, it was just weird to feel your tongue slowly touch the inside of your corners, like the, of your lips, like like that, it was just the weirdest sensation because I couldn't feel the center of my tongue but I could feel along the outside so they feel pressure as they're splitting your tongue open and holding it there. Super weird but yeah. Um, and then they started like once they made sure everything was alright they started suturing it up. By the way I had my eyes closed this entire time, I was not looking at it. I could not watch them be this close to my face with a scalpel. Couldn't do it. No regrets. I'm not ashamed to admit that I closed my eyes, okay? 
once they had put the stitches in, I was drooling a lot by the way, like I had to have um, like a bib and then basically just made sure that like all this was like covered in like towels and stuff because you'll be drooling a lot if you go through this or if you have been, you know, you drool a lot. Um, so yeah. So once they sutured everything back up, um, you know, it was fine. They started tabbing away like it was bloody. There was a lot of gauze and blood and things like that. But once that was fine, you know, you're done and the worst is yet to come. Sorry to admit it, the worst is yet to come. So they finished relatively quickly in terms of the second it was numb, cutting, suturing, bam, you're done. Um... Afterwards, um, they gave me, um, like, bibs and everything to, like, just, like, towns to, like, dab away spit and everything. And then I went to bed. Um, at this point, it wasn't, like, at about 7 o'clock, it still wasn't too painful. Um, it was more just excess saliva. Um, there was just so much saliva because I had my mouth open and my tongue out. So at this point, my tongue was also super swollen. Um, so I just had my tongue out and I just, you know, tried to, like, get all the saliva basically away from me. Um, and then I want to say 7.38 was when it just hit me. And I kind of regretted getting it done. I'm not ashamed to admit that either. Basically, the pain was intense. And I kept waking up multiple times during the night. Um, I passed out quite early in terms of how much pain I was in and how comfortable I was in terms of pain in my mouth. But I kept, I remember waking up at least four times during the night. Um, I had to put a towel down on my pillow because I slept with my mouth open and just drool and everything. My partner came along with me and he was just trying to comfort me as best as he could and I was so close to tears, I felt like I was throwing up because of the pain. Like, it wasn't extremely painful, but it was just constantly there. And because it was constantly there, it was also in the back of my throat as well. It just made me feel so nauseated and then on top of that, I have also a small fear of throwing up, so that was adding to it. So it was just like a small cycle that I just needed a bucket in case I did. And I was not going to be throwing up with a fresh tongue split. I was not going to do it, but I got there. I woke up day two. Apparently night one was supposed to be the worst, and I got through it. Day two... um. I basically just had soup. I didn't eat much at all. I had I attempted to have some soup um but all along here along my neck area was all swollen. Basically I had to talk like this. Well, actually I couldn't talk at all, but my tongue was so swollen it rested on top of my teeth. Like I couldn't actually put it in that little area where your tongue is supposed to be. It sat on top of my teeth with how big and swollen it was. And it was pretty gross, but, you know, it's what you get into. Didn't have a lot of energy, and they told me that I'll probably be feeling like crap for a couple of days, because healing. Um, I didn't really feel like crap. It was more just, I couldn't swallow properly. And I kept, I managed to sip water. I, oh, excuse me. I figured out a way to actually swallow water and liquid. Um, basically, I became a baby bird during this, trying like tilting my head back and trying to like let it get down to like the back part and then swallowing it that way. Basically, it didn't help quench my thirst, but I was drinking water and that's all that I cared about. You are told to be on a vegan liquid diet. Um, you can only you can't have certain acidic foods fruits and vegetables, um, you can't have dairy, um, basically it's a liquid only diet. So I have, I was pretty much living off of pumpkin soup for three days. Day three was when um, me and my partner started flying back to Australia um, and this is probably where I had the most difficulty in terms of food. Going through the airport without being able to speak 
and not being able to eat solid food was extremely difficult. I tried to have the softest solid foods that I could um, and have like, you know, buy foods that had broths and just have broths, but it was extremely hard and it was surprisingly, I wasn't overly hungry. I just wanted solid foods to chew at this point. Um, about day four, we were still on the plane. Um, yet again, just solid foods, uh, soft solid foods as much as I could. I was getting cranky. I tried getting yogurt. Um, I know you're not supposed to have dairy, but I was just in such a state where I just wanted food. Um, so I got yoga and the cold really helped. Um, pre tip, if you're getting this done, ice water, not iced, like ice as in like a chunk of ice, just either really cold water or just before freezing works wonders. I cannot recommend that enough. It just soothed the throat so much. It was unbelievable. So yeah, day four I was just living off of water and small soft solid foods as much as I could. Didn't eat much again. Day five was when I got back into Australia. Um, and again, soft solid foods. But at this point the swelling was going down quite a bit. Um, I could swallow more or less easy and I could start feeling my tongue. Um, during the previous days, I could feel my tongue, but obviously because it was so swollen, it just felt like my whole mouth was a tongue, if that makes sense. Um, day four slash five, the swelling was going down quite a bit that I could actually somewhat move it, and I could figure out basically what my tongue is. Um, day five is when they recommend to take your stitches out. Um, because I was travelling on an aeroplane, um, the different altitude and pressures basically made my tongue swell up a lot more. So I decided to wait until day 6 to take them out. Um, although day 5 in the afternoon slash evening, I did take a couple of the front stitches out as it was getting extremely sore. Um, like kind of like grinding against the back of my teeth. So I did take a couple out um, to just relieve the pain. Um, day six, I started to remove, like, about halfway down, um, and that was super painful. Um, basically, I got told that some people, it's a breeze taking out the stitches, they don't feel anything, it's just boop, 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 done, and you're good. I was not the case, I was a little bitch, still, again... Not ashamed to admit it. Um, basically, my partner helped take him out. Um, and it was super painful because it was still... Like, every time you start tugging on it, the tongue would automatically swell up. Um, so that would just instantly make it 20 times harder than it needed to be. And because the tongue has, had swelled up, it was actually making indents. So... It was still technically an open wound where the um, incision for the stitches were. So, all around, not a pleasant time. It was a little bitch. Hi, this is day six at the moment. Um, I am talking with a lisp, but that's what you get when you cut your tongue. Um, I took five or six stitches out so far. Um, I took four out, no, I think it's seven, I don't know, basically, I took quite a few stitches out yesterday, um, and then the day before yesterday, I took out three, I think it was, um, that was just because, uh, it was starting to annoy me, and my tongue, and it was super sensitive, so I decided to take some out, and leave the rest in, I've got, um, some still left in there at the very back, just to give them extra time to heal, but I'm going to take them out today. So this is what my tongue looks like on day 6. I can't do much trick with them. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Day 7, I kind of just went 
bucket and I took the rest out myself. Um, once the stitches were out, it just felt so much better. Um, I could move my tongue, I could, you know, basically, it didn't feel like there was something in my mouth at all times. Um, and especially with that last stitch at the very back, um, where the cut starts, um, it constantly felt like there was something in the very back of my throat and I needed to either swallow or throw it up and it was not fun. So it took a week um, to have everything basically come out. Um, at this, it was day day seven I started having semi-solid, um, like uh, bread and eggs. Um, just uncooked bread and scrambled eggs I could eat that because it was super soft. Day eight was I upgraded to oatmeal I think it was. Eggs and oatmeal and then I think day nine I started having more solid foods and now um, two weeks I can pretty much eat anything um, and it doesn't affect my tongue whatsoever. Um, one thing I do want to admit is when you first start eating solid foods, um, it takes a little bit to get used to because you're not used to a gap in the very front middle section of your tongue. Um, so food was constantly getting trapped underneath and it has to get water and like swish it and either spit or swallow. Basically, until you've worked out how to use your tongue and how to like get rid of the food in the very front, it's going to be weird and it's going to be gross and disgusting. So, being two weeks um, from getting it done, I can't do many tricks whatsoever, so please do not expect me to do everything. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get used to it. Um, basically, this is just me showing and telling how, like, the process that I did to get it done. Because I know everyone was different and I watched a whole bunch of different videos um, explaining people's stories about getting it and, you know, it was just very much a mix of reviews. Like, some experienced no pain and they could eat solid foods after, like, two days and, you know, they could roll their R's or, you know, they could do everything normally after two days. And there are other people that have been sent to the hospital over it, so two very extreme sides of the same coin and I just thought well mine was very much in the middle like day day three I had absolutely no regrets um the only thing I hated was the fact that I always had a towel with me to get my saliva and my breath stank like that's a side effect and I'm sorry TMI but your breath will absolutely reek and there would be a film over your teeth on the back of your tongue like it would just be absolutely disgusting and it wasn't until day eight no seven day seven that I actually managed to brush my teeth again without it caught like causing extreme pain I tried to brush my teeth on day five but I only could manage to get the outside of my teeth using no toothpaste as it just burned too much and then day eight, once all the stitches were out and there was a 24 hour gap, one like for them to heal and close up, I brushed my teeth. It was great. I felt minty. Hallelujah. Basically, that is the extent of me being able to use my tongue at the moment. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Um, and do the cool tricks that I've seen um, but basically this is just a video um, showing and explaining what I went through to get it done um, if you have any questions um, please ask me um, in the description below I will be happily getting back to anyone as long as it's um, a respective and open question um, no hate or disgust for the body modification community will be tolerated and you will be deleted. Um, just make sure to be kind, loving, you know, ask me anything, happy to get back to it. So yeah, please 
like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to get back into making videos um, once I figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life. Yay. Alright, I'll see you in another video guys. Bye.